Wow, what a thrashing Bitcoin has been taking. Inflation data released last week and spooked the markets across the board. But of course, Bitcoin took the brunt of it. And then the Celsius drama yesterday, wow we. So have we felt max pain yet? Or is there more incoming? Well, I have a feeling it's gonna get much worse, but that will take us into the bull run to end all bull runs. You ready to learn why? Well, stay tuned because it's time for Chico Crypto. So after the Celsius news, everyone is now talking about inflation, the Fed, the FOMC meeting coming this week, 20K or lower prices. But no one is really taking the time to figure out what this could all mean when it's all put together, peeking under the veil of the headlines. Well, the reality is things aren't looking good in the short term. Inflation isn't going down as predicted. After the 8.5% rating in March, economists estimated that inflation would start retracing and keep retracing month after month. Looking at actual data, it did drop from 8.5% to 8.3% in April, but the reading given late last week had the theory crushed as inflation started growing once again to 8.6% for May. Inflation is just transitory, right? Most economic analysts believe that it will have a temporary or transitory impact. The faster than expected increase in some of those prices is actually a good sign. The overwhelming consensus is going to pop up a little bit and then go back down. Transitory. Transitory. <laughs> and the data shows that most of the price increases we've seen are were expected and are expected to be temporary. There's nobody suggesting there's unchecked inflation on the way. Well, the people who got America into this mess and didn't believe it would be this devastating are now going to try and fix it this week. The Fed FOMC meeting begins today, June 14th, and will continue to the 16th. Although tomorrow is the day everyone is eyeing, as at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the Fed will announce their rate hike decision. So what will be the decision? How many basis points will they raise? Well, let's just hear what homeboy Jerome Powell had to say in May about the next two Fed meetings and rate hikes. Then we need to really see uh, that our expectation is being fulfilled, that inflation, in fact, is under control and starting to come down. Uh, but I. Uh, again, it, it's not like we would stop. We would just go back to 25 basis point increases. It, it'll be it'll be a judgment call when when these meetings arrive. But my again, our expectation is if we see what we expect to see, then we would have 50 basis point increases on the table at the next two meetings. They were expecting to get inflation under control and only have 50 basis point raises. So now with inflation not slowing down, everyone is expecting homeboy Jerome and the Fed to get more hawkish, which would be a 75 basis point raise. Now that is exactly what the markets have been pricing in. That is why we saw a dump light last week regarding Bitcoin and stonks. So don't expect a big dump tomorrow if it's 75 that is announced. This is priced in. But if they only do a 50, they start retracing and become more dovish, I would expect a small pump. Although we aren't doing short-term analysis this episode, we are looking further into the future. Now, I don't flip-flop on my Tyler analysis of the markets like other YouTubers do with their garbage TA technical analysis. I have been predicting a bearish market, but I was wrong about it. I thought we would go sideways for much longer. I thought we would hang around 30K, but the fall from this has happened much quicker than I expected. Although I do have a prediction, I'm going to hodl on to the Bitcoin bottom. I have predicted when the Bitcoin bottom will come. Let's just listen in to this video where I analyzed previous cycles and came to an educated guess of the day of this cycle's bottom. Based on averages of the top to bottom length, 164 days, 417 days, and 370 days, we get 317 days. If the peak was 69K set November 10th, 2011, 317 days after this would put us at a bottom for this cycle happening September 23rd, 2022. The Bitcoin bottom of this cycle will come September 23rd of this year. That is just over 100 days away. Not that long when you really think about it. But I also predicted what the price would be on that day. Let's listen in. The percent fall from the top to bottom is decreasing with each 
cycle. From 94% to 87% is a decrease of 7%. From 87% to 84% is 3%. I think taking an average of those two numbers is a better way to analyze this data, which would be 5% from the last fall of 84%, or a 79% decrease for this cycle. That would mean the price this cycle and Bitcoin bottom would be about 14,500. So let's just dive further into the September bottom and why I think day by day it's becoming more likely. Now the bull market can only begin once the Fed and other central bankers across the globe reverse their course, which at the very least requires pausing the rate hikes and keeping the size of their balance sheets constant. As of right now, the Fed and central banks across the globe are gung-ho on reducing the size of their balance sheets and raising rates to tame inflation, which will go on for the next few months throughout the summer. But they can't do it for much longer than the summer. If you didn't know, it's a midterm election year in the US, and as we approach the decision time and voting in November, the fear of recession and people's 401ks getting trashed will become a bigger and bigger issue. The Democratic Party, who is currently in charge, will need to do something to fix this for Americans, or many formerly elected folks will be replaced by their nemesis Republicans. If the Democratic Party wants any chance of winning midterms, they need to get inflation under control and have a booming stock market. They need the general population to be happy. So the Fed is going to aggressively raise the those rates throughout the summer. They will act tough and they won't relent. That is why I think a 75 point basis raise is very likely tomorrow. As the global financial markets melt down because of these rising nominal interest rates around August or September, it will be just about time for them to reverse their course. AKA money printer goes brrrr. Even with them raising rates, inflation, it might be slowed, but it won't be stopped. The only option they're going to have left is to resume QE infinity. And then we are going to enter the mother of all risky asset bull markets. Or as I like to call it, the last hoorah. So what is the last hoorah? Well, in a crypto sense, it's the last bull run before the collapse of the everything bubble. How is this going to play out? Well, throughout the summer leading up to my planned Bitcoin bottom in September, altcoins are going to get wrecked and Bitcoin dominance is going to grow and grow. Checking out the five-year Bitcoin dominance chart, we can see that current dominance is already breaking out. We're nearing 50% and I would expect it to get back to levels seen in December of 2020, aka above 70% dominance. This will suck, yes, but it's a blessing in disguise because it will set the markets up for another alt season of epic proportions, giving the players in the markets one last chance for that altcoin 100x. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! I would expect sometime around early next year for altcoins to start rumbling and bumbling again. Of course, Bitcoin and Ethereum will take the liquidity first and start moving, then the large caps, and finally the mid and small caps. And it's going to move slow at first, but really start ramping up into 2024. And this will continue, this mother of all bull markets through 2024 and into 2025. But sometime in 2025 is when the party will stop and the mother of all crashes will take place. I'm talking about wiping out everything. It will be the death of fiat currencies. And of course, Bitcoin and crypto will go down with it, as I believe this will be when Tether USDT implodes too. But the rebound from this is when decentralized currencies set the world free. People will rage quit against the machine. And like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Bitcoin and crypto will be the world's only savior. Now, if you've watched my channel for any amount of years, this has been my prediction for a long time. I've been covering our irresponsible governments. I've been covering Tether and I've been supporting 
Bitcoin. So my final opinion, Max Payne, it's incoming. And then the last hoorah. So can I get a hoorah Chico army? Hoorah. Cheers, I'll see you next time.